Notion is by far my most favorite note-taking app. But the truth is, I also use it for task management, as a CRM, and even for habit tracking. But Notion was not originally designed to do those things. And this is exactly the reason in today's video, we're covering the eight automations that are going to help you get a lot more out of Notion. Starting with the very first one, copying a LinkedIn profile to Notion with a single click. And it doesn't get simpler than this. We're going to open this Chrome extension and click on copy LinkedIn profile to Notion. And just like this, all of the information is being copied from here directly to this Notion database. So let's click on View Parent to open the database itself. And here we have the information, the name, the company, position of the person, and the LinkedIn profile link. Welcome to this YouTube channel where we talk about how to become more productive and speed up your workflows with automations. Consider subscribing. And we have seven more automations to go. All of them are made possible with the Chrome extension called Bardeen.ai. It's a no-code workflow automation tool and you can download it by going to the links in the description below. You can also copy all of the automations from today's video in the description as well. Now let's take a look at our second automation. We're going to copy this Twitter profile to Notion. This time I want to open Bardeen with option B shortcut, just like this. And here we have the automation that's called copy Twitter profile data to Notion. We're going to actually set it up ourselves. We're going to open it in the builder. The builder is where you can build custom automations. Here we have two different actions. We have the scraper action that copies information from the currently open page. And then we have create Notion page action. It just grabs the data from the scraper and adds it as a new Notion page. So by default, you will be asked which database to add the information to. I'm going to clear this and I'm actually going to specify a database that's called contacts. This is the same database as we used previously. So contacts, and here we can map the data that comes from the scraper directly to the columns that are available in that Notion database. So first I want to map the name. Let's click on the scraper action and let's add the name of the person. We can also find a Twitter. I think we have a Twitter column. And here we're going to add the link. You can obviously add some additional data. Maybe you want to add the website. Let me see if I have it in our Notion database. There we have the website. Let's click on the website, just like this. Click on done, click on done again. And the last thing I want to do before running it is to minimize this window so you can see the information available here. Let's click on this card and the information is going to get copied to this database. So there we have the information and we have even the website link. Let's drag it over here. So now you can go to pretty much any profile page on Twitter, option B, click on the card and the information is going to be automatically saved to that database in Notion. Automation number three allows you to create tasks on the go so that you do not have to switch tabs and find the right database and click on new task, whatever. All you need to do is hit option B shortcut and click on the card, create new task, and then give the name to the task. So for example, uh, read something about John Burdine. Hit run again. And just like this, a new task was created. Let's click on view parent. And here we have our task database and the task that we just created, that easy. And since we're already talking about task management in Notion, there's a huge limitation. You cannot create recurring tasks. Those are the tasks that will repeat every so often. Those could be your habits or those could be, say, weekly reports for a specific client. Until today, because we're going to set it up with automation number four. Let's take a look. We're going to open Bardeen like this. And here you see two different tabs. There's the playbooks tab. Those are the automations that we've tried out by clicking on them manually. And there's the out of box tab. Out of box are the automations that are going to run automatically. In our case, it's going to run every so often. So here we have the automation that's called create recurring tasks in Notion. We're going to open it in the builder. This is where you build your automations. We have the trigger that says one time has passed a certain duration. Let's clear this and we're going to create a task that will be run every minute, hit done. And here we have the second card, create Notion page. Let's pick the database. It's called tasks database. And let's specify the task name. What task do you want to be created? It can be a report for YouTube, for example. All right, that's the name of our task. Let's pick that, click OK, hit done, and let's activate this automation. Let's run this playbook. 
and watch the magic happen. And there we have it. Another thing Notion is magical for is habit tracking. But the truth is, I'm a human, I'm not perfect. I forget to log my morning routine or to do it in the first place. And that brings us to automation number five. It's going to send us an SMS reminder every morning. Option B shortcut to open Berdeen and let's set up this automation. So we're going to run this automation every day and here we need to specify when we want this to happen. Right now is 3.36, so uh, let's try 3.37 p.m. Obviously I did not wake up at this time, but this is the time we're going to put and let's click on save and activate this automation. And Bardeen is going to send us a text message. Let's wait for it. And there we have it. Let's take a look. Here's our text message. It says time to reflect and do your morning routine and the link to the Notion page. So we can just click on it and start checking off our morning routine items. I love this. I have another confession. Personally, I have 10 to 15 hours of meetings every single week. And the worst thing I can do is not take notes and allow things to fall through the cracks. And this is where the next automation comes in super handy. It's going to automatically create a Notion page for note taking and open it automatically for us. Let's set it up. Open Berdeen. As always, I'm going to launch Berdeen with the option B shortcut. And here we have in the audio book section, it's called create Notion page for the next meeting and open it. Where are we going to create this page? It's going to be in our calendar database. Let's pick calendar. Here we have some fields automatically matched. This is perfect. Save and activate playbook just like this. And now let's test it out. So we have this meeting that's happening in 10 minutes and we're going to move it a little bit up. 45, just like this. Hit save and see what happens. Coffee again. And just like this, a new page in Notion was created and open completely hands-free. You can click on the meeting link if you want to join, or you can use a meeting template just like this. And there you have the related task database even. Let's imagine you're the type of person who wants to stay on top of everything that's happening in your Notion workspace. If somebody creates a task, you want to know about it. And this is exactly what we're going to do next. Let's open Berdeen, and this time we want to create an automation from scratch. Let's create a new auto book. And here on the left side, you have different apps. We're going to pick Notion first to configure a trigger. So when Notion page is created in a database, we can pick the database, for example, task database. Let's click on done. And then we can add our notification action. Let's add a new action. And we've already seen how this works with a text message, but we can also send that message via email, for example, or even better on Slack. So I'm going to add the Slack message send Slack message right here. Here we need to specify the recipient. It can be a specific person. I can send it to myself or I can create even a channel for notifications. So for me, I want to send it in the random channel and we'll need to specify what the message should say. Uh, let's do a new page was created just like this. And now if we use the comma operator, we can add another message. So we're going to grab information that's coming from the trigger and let's grab the name of the Notion page. So here we have the title of the page. I'm going to do comma one more time and add the link to that page. Notion page URL, just like this. And let's click on done. Give this automation name, uh, notification from Notion. Notion. Save. Activate this automation. And let's go back to our task database. Uh, as you remember, we have that trigger that's running automatically. Here we have 19 tasks that were automatically created. Now let's go to Slack and see what's happening there. And there is our message. New page was created, report for YouTube, and the link to that specific task. Boom, here it is. And it is time for me to reveal automation number eight that will turn you into an automation Jedi. We can forward emails directly to Notion databases. Let's build it from scratch. Open Berdeen, create a new automation. Let's pick Gmail, scroll all the way down. And here we have this magical action that will help make this possible. And here we need to specify our trigger word. 
For example, it can be Notion. So here is how it's going to look like. You have your email. In my case, it's called bardeen.demo. And then you can hit plus, and then everything after that plus is going to be that trigger word. In our case, it's going to be Notion. I'm going to have at uh, gmail.com. So our trigger word is over here. It's the Notion trigger word. And let me copy this information right here. So that's our trigger. When you send an email to this email address, it's going to do something. We're going to create a new action, create a new Notion page, click Notion page, pick a database, it's going to be a task, and here we can map information. The task name can be the subject of that email. And then we have task description over here. I'm going to pick the body of that email. All right, hit done. And let's name this automation uh, email to Notion. Let's hit save. Enable this automation. And as you can see, we'll need to send an email to this address. I'm going to copy it one more time. Let's go to Gmail. Compose a new email, just like this. Let's expand it. Paste the recipient over here. Do amazing hack number eight as our subject line. And let's add some random text over here and let's send it off. Okay, so this was sent off. Let's go to our task database and it's already there. Task hack number eight, amazing hack number eight. And here we have the description. It's that easy. You can even forward existing emails to that address. For example, let's do do my laundry. I'm going to forward this email, paste the email with the trigger over here. Let's click on send. Let's go to the task database. Boom, and there we have it. Do my laundry and all of the information there. You're officially a Jedi Master. And these were the eight automations to supercharge your Notion setup. You can grab links to them in the description of this video. But one thing you might have noticed is that I had all of the databases for Notion already set up, and so can you. You can download the free Notion template with 100 plus pre-built automations and 15 databases using our free template. Watch this video next to learn what's inside.